say chlorophyll? Chlorophyll works. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Aaliyah Sornis here, back at it with another video. If you guys haven't recently checked out the um, first video that I did before this one, it was a clothing haul with Target, Shein, the event I went to. Um, you can go check that video out as well. Today, guys, I will be giving you all a how to stay fresh. Ladies, how to stay fresh down there and in here in your mouth okay hey guys so the first thing we're going to get into is our toothbrush make sure you guys invest in a good toothbrush because if you don't it's not going to clean your mouth right just make sure you get you one and especially make sure you get you a electric one because you can also switch out the top part right here which comes out and you put it right back on like that also i recommend buying you guys some um these little things right here you put on top of your toothbrush because you don't want nothing crawling around or laying on your um, brush where you brush your teeth. Like, ew. The next item I have, brushing your teeth. Make sure you invest into a good toothpaste. You don't have to get the same ones I have, but this this one is called the Super Smile Professional Whiten Toothpaste. This one comes in the original mint. This is how it looks. And then this one right here, it's only the um, professional white and accelerator. Basically, I just brush my teeth with this first and then I go in after to finish with this right here. So yeah, I recommend these brands if you really have some good white looking teeth. And yeah, so these are good. Also, you can invest in a toothpaste that has both. It can make your mouth fresh and clean and also whiten it as well. Also ladies, and guys, make sure you guys are flossing y'all teeth, okay? You don't want to have no meat in the inside of your teeth, like just stuck in there overnight. Ew, that's nasty. It's gross. It could cause a lot of damage to your gums as well. And yeah, so make sure you're flossing as well. These are the floss that I use right here. So yeah, I really recommend flossing your teeth every night and every morning. I say morning because you never know what excess can leave in your mouth as well overnight especially if you're the type of person that want to get up in the middle of the night and go grab you a snack or anything which is me make sure you floss in the morning okay and before you brush your teeth make sure you floss okay guys so the next item i recommend is getting a tongue scraper i do not have no idea how much bacteria and if y'all do invest in one okay make sure you guys get you all a tongue scraper because if not your tongue just gonna be filled with a lot of bacteria and it's just gonna be nasty and it makes me not want to kiss people lava the all that i'm not lying make sure you guys make an investment on getting you all some tongue scrapers if y'all can invest in getting other things y'all get y'all tongue scraper okay this one came in with two i got this one on amazon as well um it's one more in here and then i have this one right here that i recently been using it comes in a container and also this is the tongue scraper right here this is how it looks but so you just go like this on your tongue norms right and make sure you clean it as well just keep going in there and just taking it out and just using it make sure you peroxide it haul it whatever you have to do to clean the scraper as well yeah recommend buying a tongue scraper this item i have is this mouthwash right here um the thera breath one i got this one from target um this one right here is for the healthy gums because i like to focus more on my gums because if you don't focus on your gums and cleaning your gums you can get like gingivitis gingivitis something like that y'all know what i'm trying to say um yeah and it's also good for like bleeding gums it has no alcohol and i have is called healthy gums it's a lot of varieties of them but um, I like to really focus on my gums and making sure it's really clean and healthy. Yeah, make sure y'all invest in a good mouthwash. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna get into is down there area. How to keep your pH balance good, how to stay fresh, and how to feel fresh down there without catching any type of BV, yeast infection, UTI, etc. okay? So the first item I'm gonna show y'all is this tea tree ph balance order defense it's also gently clean skin sensitive intimate area which is really good and if y'all don't know how to clean y'all area down there let me explain you cleaning down there do not go inside of your vagina area that can throw off your ph 
balance, okay? It's like the inside area. No, do not do that as well. You ladies know. Y'all should know, okay? But that's another video. If y'all don't know how to clean y'all stuff down now, if y'all want that video, yeah, just in a comment, okay? Let me know. Because if you don't know, ladies, I want to, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Okay. Drop down below, ladies, if you would like for me to explain how to clean your intimate areas the right way, okay? All right, ladies, here are the next pH balance wash that I um, also recommend you guys to use. It's the So Fresh and Clean. It balances your vaginal wash with boric acid, aloe vera, and prebiotics. Also, it supports the order control. It also promotes healthy pH for your intimate area. Yeah, it's also fragrance free. I really recommend these two items, so yeah. All right, so the next two items that I use for a body wash are Dove. I love Dove because it's not really hard on my body and also my skin is very sensitive and Dove does not do me wrong at all. I've been using it since I was little, um, so yeah, I recommend it. This one right here is the, the antibacteria, protects skin from dryness, so it eliminates 99% of bacteria. We're really, really like, which I'm running out and I need to go. Give me another one of these. Yeah. <laughs> all right the next one i have is the deep moisture which is nourishes dry skin as well this is how this one look um i like to use body wash that don't make my skin dry like you know itchy or anything after i get out the shower i like my skin to feel soft I also smell good as well and these two products right here they do not have a strong scent to them at all so i truly recommend these two items Another item I have is this silicone brush I have, which I really, really recommend when it comes to washing your body. Because using a washcloth, I don't recommend it. The scrub, this silicone scrub brush actually really, really works for me. Um, it also can help with exfoliating. And also, you can get um, exfoliating gloves as well to um, clean your body. But I recommend not getting the man ones. The man ones could be really, really harsh on your body. Because when I was using it, since my skin is sensitive, it would like cut my skin. I would have like cuts on my legs or anything like that. So I recommend getting the soft exfoliating gloves. Also getting a brush that's a silicone brush for your body. Okay, so the next item is this boric acid. I know y'all saw this in my previous video um, with the Amazon haul thing that I did. Like I said, ladies, if y'all know, y'all know. This right here, the boric acid that um goes in your vagina area, it helps, okay? Boric acid is it. It really helped me. Um, I don't know about y'all out there, but it helps me and I'm a lady. So, hey, it works for me. If it don't work for you, then I would recommend you to go to your doctor or anything like that and maybe get more you know checked on down there so yeah when it comes to your odor or anything like that make sure you guys use boric acid also get the applicator use the applicators to use this do not use your finger because your fingers have a lot of germs on it it carries a lot of little things it could be the most littlest thing that gets on your hand make sure y'all use the applicator and you put it on there and you just put it up in your your intimate area so do not force it all the way all the way but make sure it gets to where it's comfortable inside of your vagina do not put this in your mouth do not consume this all right because it could really be dangerous you could die you can really die if you put this in your mouth and swallow it so do not do not swallow this okay okay next item i have is the feminine balance complex so this one is a probiotic um with aloe vera also advanced like a lot of healthy uh flora sensation for your um your bottom your intimate area also it supports immune system health as well which is really really good for our bodies ladies so i really recommend to get these too i got this from amazon I also got these from amazon too as well so yeah when it comes to these you can take them by mouth as well it also says take two caps daily preferably with meal or as directed as your healthcare professional so if you don't think you can take this 
make sure you talk to your doctor firsthand off the rip okay but anywho yeah these are really good i really like these it helps you to control to get bb or uti yeast infection and things like that and it also helps with your immune system so i really think these will be really good for, the, for you all ladies out there as well next item i have are the probiotics with prebiotics and cranberry this is how these look right here I like these because it's a probiotic, also a prebiotic with cranberry inside of it. And you know, when you intake cranberry, drink cranberry, it's really good for UTIs and things like that. Also, when it comes to drinking cranberry juice, hold on. So guys, when it comes to drinking cranberry juice, make sure you get the 100% one. One that looks like this, okay? That say 100% on it with no sugar. Because most people be out there drinking the cocktail, the cocktail one. And the cocktail one has a lot of sugar, which can throw off your pH balance. And it's really not good for you, okay? It's only good for a cocktail. That's why I say cocktail, okay? Hey, another item I have are some pineapples, okay? Let me tell you. Choose some pineapples and down there, good okay make sure you eat a lot of fruits okay and also eat a lot of vegetables as well when it comes to greens or anything like that um but yeah i would say the first fruit to eat to keep yourself fresh and smelling down there is some pineapples okay um also make sure you consuming enough don't eat too much because pineapples also have a lot of sugar in it so just eat as much as you can but not too much don't overly do it also you can eat pineapples to keep your intimate area smelling really good to me it's not a mint um it's <laughs> it really helps me it really yeah because when my yeah yeah here yeah okay it's it's, it's a one like it's it's good all right. okay guys so the next item i'm going to be showing you all is this chlorophyll when i say chlorophyll chlorophyll works for your body your inside body okay it's a internal deodorant I say when i sweat or if i if i don't put deodorant on or down that area when i'm sweating or anything it does not smell okay if you in an environment where it is hot or your covers is hot um and you sweat you still do not smell at all okay i really recommend this you just get you a bottle of water or a glass a glass of water and then put a little bit of this not too much because a little goes a long way and it turns as dark as as it is you do not need a lot of this in there um so yeah this is really good i would say drink by like two glasses a day three glasses a day your max for me i would do like two glasses a day or two bottles a day yeah i really recommend drinking chlorophyll as well it's also good for your skin and it's also good for your digestions and stuff like that so yeah i recommend chlorophyll okay ladies the next item i have is these probiotics so let me tell y'all if y'all having good problems if you feel like you can't go to the bathroom and your stomach is bothering you or anything like that and you just want to cleanse your body cleanse your inside out take a good probiotic make sure you ladies take a probiotic that has acid acid solipis something like that y'all i don't i don't know how to really say it acid for i don't know how to say it but it's this word right here i will put it up on the screen yeah make sure you guys get the one that says that in the probiotic good for your body and when it comes to detoxing your body or if you need to go to the bathroom or anything like that so yeah make sure you guys invest in a good probiotic okay guys so the last item that i have are these multi-women vitamins so what i have right here i got this from target it has vitamin a um, vitamin b1 b6 um vitamin b12 b e biotin as well for your hair if you want your hair to grow and also it has cranberry in it as well and last it has folic acid so make sure you guys invest in a good multi women vitamin as well for your body to have you on a run for the day and to have your body just operating in the right way okay with the vitamins that you need so yeah here are my multivitamins that i really recommend so yeah all right ladies this was the last of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned how to stay fresh and also 
And also going to get you some of these vitamins or all these items that I have that could really help you when it comes to staying fresh orally and also when it comes to your intimate area and all that type of thing. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.